Now that you have your pop bottle colored in with your primary colors, you're going to outline the bottle in Sharpie marker. You just go over those pencil lines with your Sharpie. And we have those thick Sharpies. You'll probably want to use the thick ones. Um, you might need the thin ones for small details or like your writing, the logo, maybe the lines on the cap if you have any of those. You want to be really careful at this point because if you go too fast and you mess up, um, there's no going back. We could try to fix it, but um, you want to just take your time. Drawing some of those details in. Now you'll see I haven't covered my hatching lines yet. I'm going to do that after I have all of my Ben Day dots colored in. And I have my colors marker, colored markers right in front of me. And you're going to look for those dots underneath where you colored and just start to fill those in with marker. You could use colored pencil, but I feel like marker uh, is a little, it's a lot brighter and it's a lot easier to use to fill in those circles. It takes less time. So you are welcome to use the colored pencils, but um, if you'd like to go a little bit faster, you might want to use the markers. So I just showed a preview of what that looks like. You'll see that I did my background with the red dots, and then as soon as I reached the line where my bottle starts, I started to use the green dots. So you will have circles that overlap. You'll have circles sometimes that might be half red and half green or um, two different colors. It's important that you stop once you reach one of those Sharpie lines that you made earlier. This is how it's going to look uh, different. It's going to have a contrast and it's going to make it seem more 3D. You also want to fill in your logo with the dots. You can fill in your logo with white or black um, if it has that on your logo. Otherwise, I just colored mine in with the dots. It's important that you use contrasting colors so they stand out. So you might want to test those colors with the colored pencils before you put it on your bottle. I'm going very carefully, making sure not to miss any. It's very easy to miss the circles, so you want to make sure you don't miss any. Even going right on top of those hatching lines, that's fine. You'll still be able to see the hatching lines. This is the step that takes the most time, it's coloring in all these dots. But the effect is really, really cool. So I didn't do the whole bottle yet, but just wanted to show you what that looks like. And then you're going to cover all of your hatching lines with the Sharpie. So make sure to cover all the lines so no pencil lines are showing. Remember, we want to start dark and then get a little bit lighter and then a lot lighter. With those curved lines, we want them to be curved so it looks more 3D. And there we go.